I'm one of these people who unfortunately, the more time I spend on any sort of electronics, the less clear I can think. Is that the reason why you use a typewriter to do your writing? It's one of them. It's, 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 it's one of them. Um, I don't think it's like the reason. I don't know what it would be like if I could just like, when I was in my 20s or whatever, and I could just sit on my, on my couch with a laptop literally on my lap <laughs> and, and just spend an entire week redesigning my website or something. I don't know if I could still do that. If I, I think I would, I think I would still not, I think I would still probably use a typewriter. So I have a little interesting story to share about me and typewriters. Yeah. So my grandfather, uh, in a small uh, remote town, sort of a place in India, mm -hmm. used to run a typing institute which is essentially mm, okay. a coaching center for teaching students and anyone who wants to learn typing how to type. So huh. my father and uh, all of my uncles, yes, all of them got great jobs only because they could type really well, probably faster yeah. than anyone in the competition that was competing for the same job. So typing in our family is sort of like a generational, intergenerational talent oh, cool. that all of the people in the family sort of in uh, sort of it's passed down throughout the generations so uh -huh. i'm gonna ask you one question what is your uh, typing speed at the moment like how many words per minute if you've ever tested that i've never tested it on my typewriter mm -hmm. uh i think last i tested it on my computer it was like 80 words oh, that's minute. good that's it wasn't good. So it wasn't fantastic. I would suspect that it's a little faster. I've noticed lately that I think I type a little faster than I used to, hmm. probably in part because I type on the typewriter and I've strengthened my fingers mm -hmm. so much. But there's a type, uh, there's a typewriter documentary called uh, California Typewriter. Mm -hmm. And in that documentary, they visit, uh, they visit India mm -hmm. and... I don't recall like the exact details, but I think there was a company in India that was still making typewriters or they recently closed or they're mm. still open. I don't actually remember. <laughs> That's not right. Um, but yeah, they had, uh, they were showing how there were like people on the streets who would just type up documents for you. Oh yeah. That um, is still a thing that happens. Uh, I think okay. that is a thing that happens in the courts over here. Yeah. So there's a lot of clerical work that goes around and you have all of these people sitting outside the courts because people do not show up with their documents ready. So oftentimes you have to go to certain people sitting outside. They might be lawyers. They might be people who are trying to be lawyers and then they type up stuff mm -hmm. for them on their behalf. You know, sometimes that's actually just the easiest way to get something on paper. Mm -hmm. um, there, The place that I bought my typewriter from, the one, the green one behind me, mm -hmm. uh, which is called Phoenix typewriter. That guy's main uh, clientele mm. is corporate clients who use the IBM Selectric. Mm. And the IBM Selectric is like a little golf ball that has letters all over it. Oh, yeah. And, um, and he repairs those and those are corporate clients that pay the most or whatever. And then he kind of repairs these typewriters and I'm sure makes like, I'm sure it amounts to like $5 an hour with like the profit that he probably not even that who knows with the profit he makes on these typewriters and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of businesses still in operation that they've got forms they need to fill out and, you know, to get a printer on a computer to do it for them is, is I mean, just not that practical. I you just, think, might as well think, just have the typewriter. I don't think printers are as common as uh, people think they are because a couple of, I think a week back, I wanted to get some documents printed for a visa application that I was filling out. Yeah. And I went out to get those documents at eight in the night and I could barely find any computer cyber cafe. It's kind of a thing that we have here, which mm -hmm. could print them for me. It took me a couple of hours to actually find someone who would on an urgent basis print those out for me. But again, I could not have typed those out anyway. You, you, well, I mean... I think that we were all excited when printers first 
got decent and there was like inkjet printers and laser printers and stuff. But then once you owned one for a while, <laughs> you were like, this is terrible. Notice <laughs> Apple never made a printer oh, yeah. because probably because they're impossible. Yeah, they're impossible and uh, I haven't had a printer for, I haven't had a printer for years and many people probably haven't had printers for years. And actually, so yeah, here's some typewritten pages right, right here of, you know, what the thing I was drafting and I just, I live in Colombia and there's still a lot of things done on paper. So I have quite a bit of scrap paper. That's just, Oh yeah. I, well, I did read your uh, tweet in the morning today. I yeah. Mean, yeah. So I, I have actually quite a bit of scrap paper mm. that I don't even have to buy uh, paper because there's just all, there's all this paper that's out there. It's just <laughs> one side's not being used and you write, you write something down, then you can take your highlighter out and you can, you know, read it, you can highlight it and you walk around and pace around with it. I mean, it's really, it's really wonderful. 